and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. With the skyline in front of us, a look at and Citizens now, Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jared Eikhoff, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Grounded back up the middle. Throw on to first to take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they go about trying to start out the month with a win? Matt, this lineup has been on fire. Everybody's hitting from top to bottom. I don't know how you get them out right now. If you roll the ball up there, they'll probably golf it out of the ballpark. They've been that hot. Here's Juan Ligares. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. One for six. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Well, that one right there, he let the ball travel. It got back in on him, but it didn't beat him. He's strong enough to shoot it the other way. Stayed inside the ball for the base hit. In now, Brandon Nimmo. That one's in there, three and one. Harold, these Phillies as they begin play here today, they were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Well, Matt, the other thing, I mean, they're three and two on the homestand, so they haven't been real consistent. You'd like to see four and one, or even five and oh at this point, the way they've played baseball. That's Back why this four. game today puts in four basement. and two, and now no, you feel a little bit better like you're playing pretty good, consistent ball. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores. And a full count now, three and two. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location, right down the middle, but he got away with it. Here comes the payoff pitch. Lifted in the air to center. Pereira is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Batting fifth. Catcher. Stepping in, Travis, Travis Darno. 
And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Trying to escape unscathed here in the first. Hit on the ground to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. It's the Mets zero. Phillies coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jacob DeGrom is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, H? We're looking at one of the great pitchers in our game today. He's already got 250 strikeouts this season. To me, that's an elite group, an elite class. So we may see something special today from this young man. Hopefully he continues to throw the ball well, and we really do see him at his best. So stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Hit in the air to shallow center. Ligar is giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, keep an eye on El Torito, Oduba Herrera, as this game moves along. He's coming off a nice month where he hit eight home runs. That's like two every week. If you could throw out two every week, you're going to have big numbers at the end of the year, and that's what he did last month. It showed me a lot about who he is and the power he has. Now to the plate, Michael Franco. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Odubo Herrera. So striding in, Odubel Herrera, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Here's the one and one pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Ligares. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting fourth. First and that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's definitely a long ball threat. Currently third in the National League in that category. Two out with the man at first. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rivera is over. And that retires the side. Philly strand one. Still no score. So striding forward now, Rene Rivera. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. Matt Reynolds will be next. Three and two. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Matt, Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz for pitching because he's got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s, calling balls off the plate. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And Kendrick will make the play on it for the first out. All right, here's how the Phillies line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking in the outfield, Odubel Herrera. When the Phillies were turning things around and turning that organization upside down, bringing up young talent, he was the first guy. Won batting titles in the minor leagues and really got off to a good start in the big leagues as well. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Career line against Jared Eikhoff, one for three. No score here as we play inning number two. Hey. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Grounded to third. Bronco fields it cleanly. 
Throw gets him. Two down. Batting eight. Now at the plate, Gavin Cicchini. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So a two out knock and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. The eight hitter gets a base hit. You know how important that is? Now the pitcher has to hit in this inning and he doesn't lead off next inning possibly clogging the bases or starting the inning with basically one out. That's a big hit. Standing in now Jacob DeGrom outside two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. A dangerous changeup left high but called for a strike. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Hernandez into shallow center, and that's the third out. Mets strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Here's Michael Saunders now. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. Under this is Flores, and Wilmer's got it for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way, but if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Now at the plate, Howie Kendrick. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. The big curveball just misses apparently. Ball two. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Well, Matt, and another thing, I mean, it's a really good team. We know that, right? I mean, they've already clinched the division. The question will be, how do you rest guys down the stretch to get ready for the playoffs? And that, to me, is more challenging, maybe, than the rest of the season on the calendar. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Oh this is a hitter's dream. He did a great eight. job of working to count. This is one of those advantage Cameron. counts. He knew a fastball wow. was coming and he didn't miss it. Got to feel good about that at that. Stepping into the box Cameron Rupp and he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this is fouled back and out of play. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. We'll move to the third with no score. The city's founder William Penn seen there at Top City Hall here in Philadelphia as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Reyes. He'll start things out against Jared Eikhoff as this inning gets underway. And a swing by Reyes as this is hit on the ground out to second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The center fielder, number 12, Juan. Stepping Ligaris. in and ready for another shot, Juan Ligares. He reached on a single in his first try. Third inning, no score to this point. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready now with the payoff pitch. In the air now out to left. Kendrick has a beat on it and he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for the Mets. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo. One for one after a single his first time up. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. 
Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, I thought with two outs right there, that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. And I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3-1. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Another payoff pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The payoff pitch one more time. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. The batter, number four. Ready for another chance. Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. strike and he's behind one and two a runner on first with two away one two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning Mets leave one home half of the third coming up no score. Standing in, Jared Eikhoff, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. He's just got great strikeout stuff in his last start he racked up double digit K's and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Stepping in now Cesar Hernandez now a swing and a hard hit grounder but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box, Michael Franco. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Striding in once again, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. Throw to first in time, one and gone here in the fourth. And so after getting the ground ball with the fastball on that last pitch, that'll segue perfectly to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that? He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. 
And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Into the box now, Matt Reynolds. And he takes a called strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. He's set and the one two pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball throw on to first gets him and the side is retired Mets strand one on to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score You're Matt Harvey play. answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they Number didn't get the outing they were hoping Matt for from the starter Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Career numbers against Matt Harvey. Three for 15. He's taken him deep once. Here's the one and two delivery. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. Now batting. Tommy. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Now a ball hit sharply toward third, but a quick glove at third, and there are two gone. The right fielder, number five, Michael. Here's Michael Saunders now. Under. Both for one for him here in this one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Settling in now, Matt Harvey. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, there's a line drive. Caught at third by Franco. Right place, right time. And the leadoff man's gone to start the fifth. Digging in to try it again, Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. In there, a base hit. This is when you really know you're on a hot streak. When a ball falls in like the that, you sit back and 12. you just say, I'll Juan take it. Lagarin. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Standing in now, Juan Ligaris as he lifts it in the air to right field. And Saunders will handle this one for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting. And here's the former first round Brandon draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's a look over to first and a dive, but he's back. Yeah. 
And again, a throw. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Last half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Here's Howie Kendrick. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Now that's a slider that's pretty easy to recognize. Started on the outside, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. But one that's difficult is that one that starts in at you and still breaks over the plate. Under it, Lagares, and there's one away. The batter number four. Stepping up now, Andres Blanco. He singled his last time up. The one and two pitch. Lays off two and two now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Another 2 2 offering. And this is fouled at the plate. <clears throat> He's right on that breaking ball. That's pretty good timing right there, especially falling up after a fastball. And here's a ball hit in the air. Just foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Stepping in now, Cameron Rupp. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Now, here it comes. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Harvey steps into his windup on his way with the three and two. Line towards center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So, worst case scenario, a two out base hit, and the pitcher will not lead off next inning. Well, we hadn't been seeing a lot of singles from him lately. He dropped below 220. Maybe this is the start of something special. Into the box, Jared Eikhoff. A high fastball is in there. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Philly strand one, sixth inning coming up, still zip, zip. Ready for another chance? Brandon Nimmo. He'll be the first to the plate for the Mets in their half of the sixth. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Line toward right center. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. like magic or something he's given four, up a boatload of hits baseline. but they haven't been able Milner, to chase a runner Milner. home yeah he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable pitching from the stretch hard to keep that up over several innings though runners off for second ground ball sent back up the middle fielded cleanly and a rather easy first out Digging in to try it again. Travis Darno, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. That's a nice pitch. A fastball in that jams him. And now you go back outside. You know he's got to protect inside. You go back outside to try to get the out. Left side. Franco has it. Throw gets him two down. Digging in once again, Rene Rivera. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. 
hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. hit in the air out to left field and Kendrick will make the play to retire the side. Mets leave one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Ready once again Cesar Hernandez career numbers against Matt Harvey just a three for 13 batting line. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Nimmo has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Third baseman number seven. Mike Stepping Kel. in and ready for Franco. another shot. Michael Franco. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. No runs three hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hit in the air to center field. Ligares is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for Philadelphia. Striding into the box, Odubel Herrera. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Two out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Nimmo in pursuit. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. We are still scoreless. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Ball, that's out. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now, and a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He departs in a tie ball game but is responsible for that runner at second so the best he can hope for is a no decision here. Joaquin Benoit is on now out of the bullpen as he'll make his 70th appearance so far this year. In now Gavin Cicchini. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. He's set and the two one pitch and a fastball just a bit high. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And he takes a cold strike at the knees and that'll run things full. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Hit back up the middle. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there and he's out. 
well, good fundamental baseball might just win him this ball game. They had the go-ahead run at second base, so this guy knows exactly what he has to do. Just a simple ground ball to the right side gets that guy to third, and now all sorts of ways to take the lead. Michael Conforto will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 30. Michael Conforto. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Let's shut it down here. Hey. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Swing and a liner. Foul. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Ruff has it. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. Throw to first, not in time, and the go-ahead run is across to score. And quite a turn of events there is not only is he on on the drop third strike, but a run scores as well. Ready for another shot now. Jose Reyes, previous meetings with Joaquin Benoit, one for six. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. One run, seven hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid the double play. Riding in once again, Juan Ligares. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Ready with the one and two. Hit to third. There is Franco. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. A run, a hit, and a man left. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Noah Syndergaard gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Noah Syndergaard. At the plate, Tommy Joseph. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This ball will be chopped foul. The 1 and 2 pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. That's a big fastball obviously. And we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Here's Howie Kendrick. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. 
Kendrick waiting now the pitch swing and a little blooper to center and that'll get down for a base hit. Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco. One for two on his line so far in the game. Two out with the man at first. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. And another foul ball. The one-two pitch. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. This is pulled into right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Two out right, and here they come. This team never stops. Now they've got the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first base, and all this with two outs. Can they come up with another big hit with two? Let's see right here. Standing in now, Cameron Ruff. One and two now. Matt, this is where I like this guy pitching. First and second, he's got two outs. He's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but now he likes to paint the corners. Watch him fight himself out of this situation. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Reyes posts under it, and that's the third out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets one, and the Phillies nothing. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Hector Neris will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Number Freddie Galvis Hector is into the ball game Nerys. as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double Number switch. Freddie and here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Two base hits, both singles to this point. On the ground, up the middle, played on the backhand. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. A look at our line Second score thus far. The Mets have come to Philadelphia, four. and they lead the Phils here in the eighth. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. And that misses two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's set. Here's the three one. Ball four. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. The 3 0 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Kendrick ranging back. Gone! So a two run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for air, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Dahlia Inojosa gets the call as he'll pitch with Philly. one gone in the top Number of the eighth. Dahlia Inojosa. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. 
in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now batting. Trying to pick Third things up where we left off. Matt, Matt Reynolds. Reynolds. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Runner going a second time. Hit hard on the ground at first. To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Well, he definitely now rushed batting. himself on that return throw to first there, yeah, and he threw it away. They got the force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. Into the box, Gavin Cicchini. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. The one and two pitch hit on the ground to short fielded by Galvis on to second for the force out and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two both coming on this two run home run home half of the eighth coming up. It's three nothing New York. Now at the plate Freddie Galvis. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. Second now batting. Cesar Hernandez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pitch on the way. Now a bunt attempt here. Reynolds is up with it. Throw not in time and that'll go as a bunt single. Hold on here though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now so that very close safe call might be challenged. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed and I'll tell you what it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to. OK we're going to get one play. more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call. You know I think there is. The shot right there it makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well used challenge. OK so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision and off comes the headset and he's out. So the original call Upon is overturned and instead of having a base runner at first, at first the bases will now be empty. Overturned and the batter ruled out. Stepping in now Michael Franco. He grounds it sharply to third. Reynolds scoops it up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail in this one, three nothing. Pat Misha enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep Number the score seven, right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Joanna Cespedes will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. And a whiff at a good slider that time. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Coming to the plate the now, Jose Reyes. He lined Jose out in his Reyes. last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. 
Two and one now to Reyes. And it misses. Three and one now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The center fielder number 12. Juan Here's Juan Lagares. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it three to nothing. Jerry Spamilia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Here's the center fielder, Adubal Herrera. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. He'll try again, one, two. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. Smoke toward the hole. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. So he waited till the ninth First inning, but he comes 19. through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. Gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make them chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Tommy Joseph is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. In now, Michael Saunders. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Standing in now, Howie Kendrick. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Right there, Matt. You know, they get the leadoff man on, and they haven't been able to advance him. That's why they're not scoring runs. you got to hit and run still. Do something to get that runner moving. Get aggressive. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last oh, strike, pitcher. but they refused Number to go 17. down without a fight, so they All live right. to fight some more. Chris Coughlin will start to and loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll Number bat with six. two on and two out here. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And he lays off ball four, so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Ryan Holiday will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. And he swings and lifts an easy fly ball into shallow center field. In there, a base hit. One run is scored. And the second run is across to make this a 3-2 ball game now. Now you're down one with that hit right there. Now you're one big swing away from walking him off. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinch runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Into the box, 
Freddie Galvis. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, it's almost automatic for this guy as he puts another game on ice. That save number 40 for the season. Clearly, this guy is one of the best in the game. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. New York, with their 97th win, tops in the division. Matt Harvey wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. Jared Eikhoff is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Jerry Scamilla hammers down the save his 40th of the season. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. High fly ball right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walked off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. David Ortiz. An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Drake delivers as a drive to right field. Hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate.